back up with Collectors and Diecast and this to another episode of Curb's Garage. Today we're going to look at my entertainment pop culture collection. Um, I've shown one before, but I've gotten uh, tons more since then. So let's just start with the um, Hot Wheel Dodge van with the Peanut Snoopy graphics on it and the Real Rider nice red line wheels, all solid. Metal Dive cast with this gray and white paint. Kind of a Christmas um, logos on there. Nice detail. Little metal on metal. It's got the black interior. Hard to see, but. Um, let's see. And up next, I have. Walt Disney, the little roadster here with the original Mickey Mouse cartoon from before my time um, came out. It was during the silent film era, I believe. This was just, I think, uh, was that last year this thing came out? And uh, these white wheels and... Uh, just a main liner that was there, I think. It wasn't one of the special premium cars, if I remember correctly. Um, this is one of the premium uh, Disney cars. This is uh, from the 101 Dalmatians cartoon. There's the mom and dad in the Ford van. Nice detailed front end and real rubber tires. Nice brown paint job. Here's the puppies in the back. Nice uh, headlights, bumper detail. And there's the whole clan together. That's a tan interior. Pretty nice piece. All these ones are, were probably been taken apart and been customized. I like the paint jobs on these, so mine are all blister poles that are, I'll just put in the bag. This is from another Disney um, cartoon. This is from uh, Phantasm. Uh, never seen this cartoon, but um, this is that Deco delivery, which I'm not sure if this was a actual car or some kind of futuristic um, thing. It kind of looks vintage to me, like it could have been from the 40s or something, but I don't know if it was a real car or not. If you do know, please message. But anyways, there's the that. That also had the real rider wheels on it. Let's see here. Uh, next we have the Panel truck, and this is from the Disney Jungle Book. There's some graphic on the hood there, kind of ghostly. And there's the little boy and his buddy. I think it's a bear. It's on his belly, and uh, and pretty heavy piece. The only thing is, I think it's really out of uh, scale when you put it up against the Dodge van. I mean, it's quite a bit bigger. I don't know if they were, I don't know if it was that big of a difference or not. It seems pretty out of proportion to me, but let me know what you think. Um, so this, yeah, I had the real rubber tires on there. Herbie uh, Love Bug, and it's one of the Walt Disney movies. The car used to kind of had its mind of its own, and was, went through all kinds of adventures. Pretty popular show back then. And here's a custom uh, friend of mine project uh, 
um, underscore HWS made for me with the patina look to it. And they put on some nice blacked out uh, real rubber slicks on there. Screwed back together professionally. And uh, yeah, so this one was just a um, main line. And there's my buddy's custom they made for me. And let's move on. This was uh, from a musical uh, back in the 60s. Um, Shitty Shitty Bang Bang was the name of the car. It used to fly. And uh, this diecast actually had wings that came out of here, but this one is missing them. the base. This was uh, Corgi Jr. Would like to find one with the wings. It would be cool. But I think these things are pretty tough tough to find. Unless I want to go on eBay and pay a lot of money for it. Which I don't. This is kind of a start. You know, I know they're doing Led Zeppelin this year and hoping to get that set. Um, this was the Beatles' Hard Day's Night on the dairy delivery. Big chunk of metal with the real ladder wheels. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Very simple. There's a couple of, uh, Yellow Submarines from the Beatles had a uh, animated cartoon, very psychedelic, featuring the Yellow Submarine. They also have a song, kind of goofy song called the Yellow Submarine. Anyhow, here's two variations. You see the only difference is, uh, I think this is the first one that came out. And then this one, uh, I think was this year, it has the Hot Wheel logo on the back. Pretty much only differences that I could see. For you variation um, folk out there, I should have checked that the bases are the same, um, so there's no difference there. It's just the hot little logo on one. Next, I got the also from the '60s, the TV show called The Monkees. This is a band that. The show is kind of a mock of the Beatles. You know, it's four, four guys that would just drive around in this monkey mobile and, you know, getting all kinds of mischief and whatnot. And they play their songs during the show, kind of pre MTV. And this is from Husky. And actually, I found a 1 8th scale of this, well, 1 18th scale of uh, this car at the swap meet a couple weeks ago. So that was pretty cool. I got this at, uh, at a pawn shop of all places. Um, another TV show based on music was The Partridge Family, 1970s popular show. It was a family of musicians. And they toured around this bus. And uh, it's pretty cool. School bus. This is made by Johnny Lightning. And uh, this is 2002. These here are also from Johnny Lightning, and these are from Band Kiss. It came out, I think, 1974. 1975, something like that, and they were kind of ahead of the time. They wore this white face makeup, and um, there was two other guys, Ace Freely and Paul Stanley. Ace was the guitar lead guitar, Paul Stanley was the rhythm and uh, lead vocals, and then you had Chris here as the drummer, and Gene as the bass player, and you can see that 
There it is, the cat. That was his face makeup. And then jeans was uh, the demon. So this one says Johnny Lightning. It's a stock race car. And uh, pretty nice. I think it has rubber wheels on it. Good years. Suspension. Um, and he had a funny car, which doesn't open, but there you go. There's that famous tongue that he would stick out. We got their signatures on there. And let's see here. Another TV show from the 70s, The Brady Bunch. His uh, father and his three boys married a mother and her three girls. And this is the little family wagon they drove around in. Uh, the TV show, it didn't have the big Brady Bunch logo on the hood. Uh, and this was made for Matchbox. And it's Mercury Sable Wagon, 1997. So that is that. Oh, uh, there was a episode where the older brother got a car, misses it, and it was um, actually a lemon, and uh, his buddy passed pass it off to him, and then the moral of the story was that he uh, tried to do the same thing and sold it to his other friend, but his dad talked him out of it and the doors wouldn't open and just ran like crap but there's that car so that's pretty neat that they made it the Bel Air um, from Matchbox I'll say 1955 is that what it is 1955 Chevy Bel Air yeah and um, just real quick on the station wagon the back opens up there so that's kind of cool Let's see if we can take a look in there there you go um, so that was the Brady Bunch TV show um, then um, around the 70s there was a uh, movie American Graffiti and uh, was based in the 1950s kind of rock and roll era it was basically one night of just teenagers running amok out in the streets drag racing picking up girls and the blonde in this uh, diorama is uh, Susan Summers the actress and um, and one of the characters all night was chasing her. She, you know, trying to hook up. I think at the end of the movie he did. And, uh, but this was a neat little diorama from that show. And that was, uh, Motor Max. So that was a neat little find. This was, uh, uh anyway. So anyway, I got some other cars from that show. Here's, uh. Looks like a Buick. The engine opens up. It's got the white and red interior to match the red pin lines. And let's see if I can. I can't remember who made these. I want to say Matchbox, but I'm not sure. This is the um, black 33 Ford Coupe. And this was from Matchbox. And that also had the opening hood. The white interior. And I want to say he raced this guy in the show. I might be wrong, but this was the other um, guy. One of the main characters in the movie. And, uh...
that was from Matchbox, that Roadster, and then there was this Low Rider, and then that's Jet in the background. There's the American Graffiti logo on the rear panel there. So, so that actually uh, that gives an Impala. Seventy-four Impala. That nah, couldn't be seventy-four because the movie came out. Oh, nineteen seventy-one Impala. Ah, interesting. The show was in the fifties, but here's a seventy-one Impala. Okay. So there's that, and then this car was not in the movie, but uh, that TV show or that movie spotted a TV show called Happy Days. And uh, one of the characters, Ralph Nauf, drove this yellow roadster here. And it was seen in the beginning of the TV show. And uh, so um, there's that. And I can't remember. That's Johnny Lightning. <laughs> and uh, let's see. And then here is uh, another car from the Happy Days. This was Pinky Tescadero's car. That was the character of Fonz. This his girlfriend. He was like this greaser biker guy. And anyway, this was his girlfriend's car. And uh, she was a uh, demolition derby driver. But this was her personal car. And this was from Matchbox. 1957 Thunderbird. Pretty cool. Let's see, we got... Um, I think that's it for these cars. And then I will do another video. Um, you know, part two, three, or four. So that's it for right now. Thanks. Enjoy. Happy hunting.